Yashar, Jasher, 55. And it came to pass after this that Yaakov said, I will go and see my son in Mitzrayim, and will then come back to the land of Canaan, of which Elohim had spoken unto Avraham, for I cannot leave the land of my birthplace. Behold, the word of Yahuwah came unto him, saying, Go down to Mitzrayim with all your household and remain there. Fear not to go down to Mitzrayim, for I will there make you a great nation. And Yaakov said within himself, I will go and see my son, whether the fear of his Elohim is yet in his heart amidst all the inhabitants of Mitzrayim. And Yahuwah said unto Yaakov, Fear not about Yosef, for he still retains his integrity to serve me, as will seem good in your sight. And Yaakov rejoiced exceedingly concerning his son. At that time, Yaakov commanded his sons and household to go to Mitzrayim, according to the word of Yahuwah unto him. And Yaakov rose up with his sons and all his household, and he went out from the land of Canaan, from Be'er Shiva, with joy and gladness of heart, and they went to the land of Mitzrayim. And it came to pass when they came near Mitzrayim, Yaakov sent Yahuda before him to Yosef, that he might show him a situation in Mitzrayim. And Yahuda did according to the word of his father. And he hastened and ran and came to Yosef. And they assigned for them a place in the land of Goshen for all his household. And Yahuda returned and came along the road to his father. And Yosef harnessed the chariot. And he assembled all his mighty men and his servants and all the officers of Mitzrayim in order to go and meet his father, Yaakov. And Yosef's mandate was proclaimed in Mitzrayim, saying, All that do not go to meet Yaakov shall die. And on the next day, Yosef went forth with all Mitzrayim, a great and mighty host all dressed in garments of fine linen and purple, and with instruments of silver and gold, and with their instruments of war with them. And they all went to meet Yaakov with all sorts of musical instruments, with drums and timbrels, strewing myrrh and aloes all along the road. And they all went after this fashion, and the earth shook at their shouting And all the women of Mitzrayim went upon the roofs of Mitzrayim and upon the walls to meet Yaakov, and upon the head of Yosef was Pharaoh's regal crown, for Pharaoh had sent it unto him to put on at the time of his going to meet his father. And when Yosef came within fifty cubits of his father, he alighted from the chariot, and he walked toward his father. And when all the officers of Mitzrayim and her nobles saw that Yosef had gone on foot toward his father, they also alighted and walked on foot toward Yaakov. And when Yaakov approached the camp of Yosef, Yaakov observed the camp that was coming toward him with Yosef, and it gratified him, and Yaakov was astonished at it. And Yaakov said unto Yahuda, Who is that man whom I see in the camp of Mitzrayim, dressed in kingly robes, with a very red garment upon him, and a royal crown upon his head? Who has alighted from his chariot? and is coming toward us. And Yahudah answered his father, saying, He is your son, Yosef, 
the king. And Yaakov rejoiced in seeing the glory of his son. And Yosef came nigh unto his father, and he bowed to his father. And all the men of the camp bowed to the ground with him before Yaakov. And behold, Yaakov ran and hastened to his son Yosef and fell upon his neck and kissed him. And they wept. And Yosef also embraced his father and kissed him. And they wept. And all the people of Mitzrayim wept with them. And Yaakov said unto Yosef, Now I will die cheerfully after I have seen your face, that you are still living and with glory. And the sons of Yaakov and their women and their children and their servants and all the household of Yaakov wept exceedingly with Yosef. And they kissed him and wept greatly with him. And Yosef and all his people returned afterward home to Mitzrayim, and Yaakov and his sons and all the children of his household came with Yosef to Mitzrayim, and Yosef placed them in the best part of Mitzrayim, in the land of Goshen. And Yosef said unto his father and unto his brethren, I will go up and tell Pharaoh, saying, my brethren and my father's household and all belonging to them have come unto me. And behold, they are in the land of Goshen. And Yosef did so and took from his brethren Reuven, Rishikar, Zebulun, and his brother Binyamin. And he placed them before Pharaoh. And Yosef spoke unto Pharaoh, saying, my brethren and my father's household and all belonging to them, together with their flocks and cattle, have come unto me from the land of Canaan to sojourn in Mitzrayim, for the famine was sore upon them. And Pharaoh said unto Yosef, Place your father and brethren in the best part of the land. Withhold not from them all that is good and caused them to eat of the fat of the land. And Yosef answered, saying, Behold, I have stationed them in the land of Goshen, for they are shepherds. Therefore let them remain in Goshen to feed their flocks, apart from the Mitzrim. And Pharaoh said unto Yosef, Do with your brethren all that they shall say unto you. And the sons of Yaakov bowed down to Pharaoh, and they went forth from him in peace. And Yosef afterward brought his father before Pharaoh. And Yaakov came and bowed down to Pharaoh. And Yaakov blessed Pharaoh. And he then went out. And Yaakov and all his sons and all his household dwelt in the land of Goshen. In the second year, that is in the hundred and thirtieth year of the life of Yaakov, Yosef maintained his father and his brethren and all his father's household with bread according to, to their little ones all the days of the famine. They lacked nothing. And Yosef gave unto them the best part of the whole land, the best of Mitzrayim, had they all the days of Yosef. And Yosef also gave unto them and unto the whole of his father's household clothes and garments year by year. And the sons of Yaakov remained securely in Mitzrayim all the days of their brother. And Yaakov always ate at Yosef's table Yaakov and his sons did not leave Yosef's table day or night, besides what Yaakov's children consumed in their houses. And all Mitzrayim ate bread during the days of the famine from the house of Yosef, 
for all the Mitzrim sold all belonging to them on account of the famine. And Yosef purchased all the lands and fields of Mitzrim for bread on the account of Pharaoh. And Yosef supplied all Mitzrim with bread all the days of the famine. And Yosef collected all the silver and gold that came unto him for the grain which they bought throughout the land. And he accumulated much gold and silver, besides an immense quantity of onyx stones, bedlium, and valuable garments, which they brought unto Yosef from every part of the land when their money was spent. And Yosef took all the silver and gold that came into his hand, about seventy-two talents of gold and silver, and also onyx stones and bedlium in great abundance. And Yosef went and concealed them in four parts, and he concealed one part in the wilderness near the Red Sea, and one part by the river Parat, and the third and fourth part he concealed in the desert, opposite to the wilderness of Persia and Madai. And he took part of the gold and silver that was left, and gave it unto all his brothers, and unto all his father's household, and unto all the women of his father's household. And the rest he brought to the house of Pharaoh, about twenty talents of gold and silver. And Yosef gave all the gold and silver that was left unto Pharaoh, and Pharaoh placed it in the treasury. And the days of the famine ceased after that in the land, and they sowed and reaped in the whole land, and they obtained their usual quantity year by year. They lacked nothing. And Yosef dwelt securely in Mitzrayim, and the whole land was under his advice. And his father and all his brethren dwelt in the land of Goshen and took possession of it. And Yosef was very aged, advanced in days, and his two sons, Ephraim and Menashe, remained constantly in the house of Yaakov, together with the children of the sons of Yaakov, their brethren, to learn the ways of Yahuwah and his Torah. And Yaakov and his sons dwelt in the land of Mitzrayim, in the land of Goshen, and they took possession in it, and they were fruitful and multiplied in it.